Welcome back everybody to the YouTube channel dedicated solely to Pokemon and Pokemon related topics. I am back drawing Pokemon again, once again joined by Avery, who is going to be reading me three different Pokemon names and will be describing them as I go. And even though this is somewhat of an interesting exercise for me, it's also comedy for him. Well, and we also wanted to um, sort of take take us back a little bit to Max's younger days before he was a PokeTuber, before he knew everything about Pokemon. Yes. Um, back so to we're my, sort my of, roots. Yeah, so we're sort of reliving one of, this is one of the exercises we first used to do when he first got into Pokemon. Um, and so we're, we're gonna give him some Pokemon he's gonna draw them from memory. So, All right. Because he knows everything about Pokemon and we'll be able to draw them flawlessly. Yeah, I actually sleep with the Pokedex under my pillow, actually. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to do Skarmory. <laughs> This is a steel flying type. Okay, Skarmory? Skarmory. It is uh, in the flying egg group. It's about five feet tall, 111 pounds. Uh, basic information here, number 227 in the Pokedex, but you knew that already. Uh, yes, yes, I have it memorized. It's got a fairly low catch rate. Right? It's a pretty rare Pokemon. It does not evolve. It okay. is the sole a uh, member in its family. Okay. Okay. Right. This, this will start you off a little easier. A little easier. It's a flying type? Flying steel. Flying steel. Okay, that's why, I, yeah. A very fun type, in my opinion. Okay, so the first thing I'm thinking of is Skarmory, obviously. Armory, and it's a steel type. I'm thinking of blades, I'm thinking of weaponry. Okay. Immediately. Maybe some armor here and there, maybe like plated almost. Mm -hmm. But the first thing that I'm immediately thinking is just like a, a little, just a lot of blades. And since it's like a flying type, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I want to draw like almost like some wings. Like weapons. Weapons, but like almost like blades coming off mm -hmm. of it. Okay. Where it's just like sort of like a flying armory, mm -hmm. where you could just sort of shake it down if you ever needed needed some weapons. It okay. would be it would have your back. It's like your armor bearer, but it flies. Nice. It's, it's like those Boston Dynamics ammo carrying robots, but yeah. better. Nice. So we got uh, we got a couple interesting facts about it here. Uh, after nestling in uh, nesting in bramble bushes, the wings of its chicks grow hard from scratches by horns. Okay. And despite it being uh, very heavy and hard, it flies at speeds of over 180 miles per hour. Holy moly. So this thing is built for speed. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can, yeah. I, can. I, guess, I mean, I guess this is a bird that's five feet tall, so it would naturally be very heavy, but I don't know comparatively if 111 is comparable to a smaller bird. Of a different way, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I've never seen a five foot tall bird in my life, not in this world anyway. Let's see. Uh, hmm. it, it, is, it is encased entirely in hard protective armor. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but its okay. bones are hollow, which allows it to fly very freely in the sky. Okay. All right, so a little bit of a little misdirection there. If you were thinking that this thing couldn't couldn't get the altitude that it would need, mm -hmm. it can. And so, it will. so this this thing is powerful. It's very agile, despite what it looks like. But it'll hit hard too. So maybe this is like like a stork, probably looking creature. Maybe I don't know something, or maybe like a kingfisher, whatever those birds are called, like the crazy bills. I like this Pokemon a lot. It has a uh, keen eye or sturdy for its ability. Um, and despite how strong it is, it actually has weak armor for its hidden ability, which is a pretty fun ability, which will uh, lower uh, its physical, or lower, it lowers its defense and raises its speed whenever it takes damage, which can be very fun. And naturally, of course, steel types are very defensive. It sports, let's see. I think it only has a few weaknesses. 
Only weak to fire and electric and immune to poison and ground. Oh, it's cute. I like it. Very high defense stat, of course. High attack as well. Um, which is not bad. It's not bad. Pretty standard for the, the steel types that my, my colleagues and I have first discovered and studied. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. I mean, why else? Why else would you have all this, this information? <laughs> Weren't from your studies in the field, yes. obviously. I think that's probably where I should leave him. There you go. So he's right about oh, right I like right there. And of course, he had to do the obligatory signing, but then also the name. <laughs> this... So what do, what do you name in this one? Uh... He's very pointy. Which is pretty close, actually. Oh, uh, let's see. Clip a quill. <laughs> <laughs> or not, they don't have quills, but they don't have quills. I mean, I guess they do. I'm getting spam texts. I should, I should definitely click on these links. All of the links. I need to claim that refund that I apparently am getting. Whoa! For my car that I, I mean, I actually do own a car now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> this boy is point glider. Point glider, I like it. All right, so this is Scarberry. I think it's very cute, I like it. Oh, that's cute, that is cute. Okay, I got, so the, you, like, you the, got the You got the pointy wings got the blade close. wings. I did not get the head correct. This looks like a it's, bowling pin. It's a weirdly shaped head, kind of. Um, But it, it's like powerful, but it'll raise, it'll raise its young noise. Yeah. yeah like it, it'll puke it in the right house. <laughs> Just That's as birds. Right. Just as birds. Of course, of course. Uh, this is a Gen 5 Pokemon. Um, quite the powerful one. This is Zvilus. <laughs> the hostile Pokemon. <laughs> All in the name. Wow. What an opener. <laughs> Zvilus? Yes, Zvilus. How um, do you spell that? It is uh, Z-W-E-I-L-O-U-S. So it's like the German word for two. Zweilos. Oh, two. Zwei. Okay, Zweilos. Yes. Um, okay. Zweilos. This is the um, the middle of an evolution line. There's one. It evolves. Uh, it evolves from something and it evolves into something. Okay. Um, it is the uh, hostile Pokemon. Like I said, it is Dark Dragon type. Okay. Um, ability Hustle. Uh, four feet tall, 110 pounds, actually very close to Skarmory. Um, and let's see, that's a pretty decent starting point. Although I can give you a little bit more if you would like. Uh, I, I think that's that's a good start. I, I like that. I can, okay. I think I can order that. Mm -hmm. So it's a dark dragon type, huh? Yes, dark dragon. I can give you a, an entry here. Let's see. Hmm. Now that I look at it, a lot of them are pretty similar. The two heads do not get along. Whichever head eats more than the other gets to be the leader. Okay. Okay. I can work with this. They're constantly bickering. You <laughs> can never decide which way to go. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is not the only Pokemon that has this problem. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. You've got Doduo, which is a two-headed bird, which evolves into Dodrio, which is a three-headed bird. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen this somewhere before. Ooh, I like that. There's actually some pretty interesting, uh, I can explain afterward because I don't want to, I don't want to interrupt your design too much. Uh, some interesting beta elements for this Pokemon, which I can go into after. 
Okay. Uh, let's see if I can find anything else here. Yeah, it says a lot how the one head that eats more or is more predominant is the one that gets to be the leader out of the two. Uh, it evolves from Dino, which is similar looking but with only one head. Okay. A sim simpler times. Yes. Simpler times. Yes, before the, uh, the second one decided to show up. Essentially, yeah. In evolution. This thing takes a long time to level up. It, uh, let's see. Uh, it takes level 50 to evolve into Zvilus, and then it evolves at level 64, which is quite high for many Pokemon. I think it's one of the highest, actually, for a full evolution. So if you want this thing to be fully powerful, it's going to take a lot of work. It makes sense with all the way, all the bickering they seem to have. The two heads. I'm basically just pulling off of like some very just like traits that I notice in a lot of designs, specifically like dragon type designs mm -hmm. that I feel are fairly, fairly consistent. Just because I need stuff that I know sort of carries over. Mm -hmm between designs for different uh, different characters. Mm -hmm. Their two heads will fight each other over or, or fight each other over a single piece of food. Zylus are covered in scars even without battling others. <laughs> <laughs> Just full up on scratch marks. Yes. Just growing pains, you know? It's like the teenage the teenage years for this Pokemon. evolves into Hydreigon, which is a pretty fierce, pretty fierce Pokemon. The brutal Pokemon, according to the decks. And I'll go ahead and show you that after this. Okay. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I like that. That's cool. There's definitely some details that are that are pretty close. It's it's cool seeing how close you get. I mean, you you obviously like know the designs, but you're just like recalling your. This is more about the essence, like the what you first think of. Yeah, this is the sort of stuff I think of. Like basic character design has a lot of like rules that you can follow that is relatively safe. It's not always going to steer you right, mm -hmm. but it can help you avoid stuff that's most certainly wrong. Absolutely. It can sort of push you in a direction early and help you figure out what the heck you're doing. Right. Aww. Like the, the different posing on the heads, it's dynamic. Oh, he angry. He hungry. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he hungry. I'm tempted to give it wings, but I feel like that's sort it is, of it is, away. Uh, it is grounded. At least at this stage. I would not be surprised if it evolved into something that had wings, even if they were somewhat useless. Well, I, can, I guess we'll see. I can give him a little, a little bitty. A little tail. A little, a little tail. Nice. And you know what? Screw it. One thing we've seen with a lot of Pokemon is you get, you get like the those lines where it's like, okay, so there's one Pokemon, let's make it evolve into three of them. <laughs> Sometimes there's one where they evolve into two. And then three. We don't want to go too quickly here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Got a second tail in there. I like it. I mean, it is. There's two of everything, so. <laughs> Add the little weird little thin things and I think I will call it there. Very nice. And this guy, I don't care what he was originally, what he is, is, uh, let's see. Okay, I got it. Bigger, bigger bad. I like it. It's a bigger bad. Bigger. 
Uh, so this is our Zvilus here. Uh, so it, it's 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 on all fours. It looks like. Uh, but you, you get the two heads. You started a bit off with that, which is good. Yeah. Um, two of everything. You get like the two the two tufts of hair on the top, the two heads. Uh, so the the purple marks on its belly. Originally, it was basically meant to be a tank, like a tread Pokemon. So that's where like the tread marks on its belly come from. Um, so you have uh, Dino. Uh, Zvilus and Hydreigon, so Ein, Vines, you know, the, right, right, right. the German counting, and uh, this is Hydreigon. Oh! So man. the head that actually predominates out of the two becomes the main one, and then it has the other hand becomes its hand, and then it gets the two hands. That's a cool way of dealing so with So you the start evolution. with one head, then two, and then three. And That's, it flies. Yeah. And it's very powerful. Alright, we got, we got, we got our last one, we got Spoink. Which, which is kind of tragic, not gonna lie, but we're, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, it is a psychic type. Okay. It is the bounce Pokemon, as one okay. as one might guess. Uh, it has gluttony as one of its abilities, or own tempo, so it's kind of on its own wavelength. Uh, it is uh, only two feet tall, 67 pounds, just about. Um, and it does evolve once, a uh, psychic type, like I said. Um, so there you go. Let's see. Um, hmm. Okay, so I was kind of getting spring vibes just off off the name, off rip. It uh, it originates in the Hoenn region, which you have visited in the past. <laughs> of course, lots of water, um, but that doesn't really play into this one too much. You find this one on land. Next to a volcano, actually, on the route down, on the, the rugged mountain road on the way down. A Pokemon that manipulates psychic power at will. It doesn't stop bouncing even when it is asleep. It loves eating mushrooms that grow underground. Okay. Fairly generic, but I don't want to give you too many details. Yeah, I wouldn't want that. Uh, it also mentions that it has a pearl on its head uh, that it carries from Clam Pearl, which is basically a clam, clam sort of Pokemon. Um, although, it, yeah. It doesn't look like a Clam Pearl Pearl, but I guess some of them might carry those. It's, pearl it's cute. Ones. It's really cute. There is a, a little, um, a much darker element here uh, with Spoink. <laughs> uh, so Spoink bounces around on its tail. The shock of its bouncing makes its heart pump. As a result, this Pokemon cannot afford to stop bouncing. If it stops, its heart will stop. Dang. So it is constantly tied to bouncing. And if it does not, if it stops bouncing, it is, uh, it's not good. Not good. Um, and it is always looking for bigger pearls because it uses the pearl to amplify its psychic powers. Okay. Okay. Don't ask me how it gets pearls from Clam Pearl under the sea, but you know, maybe maybe these guys, these little guys, get places. <laughs> At uh, level thirty-two, it evolves into Grumpig. Grumpig? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, that changes things. Grumpig? Yes. <sighs> okay. Well. We need to make this more loaf shaped. <laughs> and. Well. Yeah, I'm gonna give it some. <laughs> Screw it. I'm gonna give it some happy little extended <laughs> hooves. Thankfully, for the, the sake of this Pokemon, it uh, does not get confused because it has its uh, own tempo ability, so. It's, right, a, it's, able to, it's able to focus on bouncing. I forgot the gluttony thing too, which was probably indicative of the pig. Yes, it likes mess. to eat. Because they're going for like the twindly pig tail probably. It, it, it eats its, its berries very quickly compared to other Pokemon. Okay, well the feet don't make any sense now, but that's fine. You might be surprised by, by Spoink itself. Grumpig is, is a little more standard, but Spoink is a very unique design. Okay. And thankfully, once it evolves, it does not need to keep bouncing to keep its heart going. 
we are we are thankful for that. Here's what I'm gonna do. Hold on. Uh... Although it seems like Grump Pig is actually only a few inches taller than Spike, which is not what I was expecting. But it almost doubles the weight. I was inspired by this tragic, tragic backstory. <laughs> 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 This is by far the silliest one i made so far. Oh my goodness, he's so happy. Oh, he's kind of sad now. Oh, dude, just, just... Watching this, seeing this upside down is kind of funny, because it looks like it's like a... Kind of looks like an axle wearing a party hat. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I know what an axle is, because this is Pokemon, but... Oh... <laughs> He's doing his best. He's, he's doing, doing his best, but this is... As long as he has his pearl, he can focus his psychic energy, so it's not hard to bounce, you know, because he can just, like, control his movements with that, but... Has he got one leg? Where's that? That's one foot one facing foot. forward, one foot to the side. Oh, I got you. Oh, I see. So it's kind of, like, angled. Yeah. Aw. Oh. I didn't want it to go this way, but, um... You, you gotta throw some nightmare fuel in, you know? <laughs> Just a little bit of piggy. The Pokedex is a very dark place, which is why we don't actually let our local school district uh, read the entries to kids. Right. Anymore. Not, yeah, not until they're... They used at, to least do it, at least uh, past grade They seven. used to do it right before nap time. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, kids, keep bouncing or your heart will stop. This is so sad. <laughs> That's so sad. Hold on. What, hold Drum on. Pig is, is pretty chipper, though. He's, he's pretty happy to be here. It's a, it's a cute Pokemon, actually. Spoink specific. That's Pip Spring. Pip Spring. Aww. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, he, oh he's, 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 he's struggling. He's struggling. Uh, so this is is your Spoink. Oh my gosh. What even? It looks like a manatee. <laughs> so you got the little pig body and the pearl with the spring tail. <laughs> and these poor outstretched arms <laughs> reaching to the heavens. Take me away. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Poor guy. Well, you know what? Um, at least he only exists on paper. <laughs> yes, that's that's right. That's right. Well, I've made three just real fresh, hot and ready designs for you, Pokemon people. So you can. Uh, I feel like we've been here before. You can uh, come and get them. Just uh, leave the requisite Benjamins in the mailbox. Yes. Like last send, time. send us all of your money. Yeah, because you guys have it. To spare, so yes. When and you make you make so many games, you make so many games based on the creatures that we've discovered and documented. Yeah, and you've already taken like twenty-seven of my designs, so you might as well just like pay me for the last couple. You know, you right. might as well just for 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 each each quill fish, there's an over quill. Right, exactly. And you know, you know it, it's a pittance if you. Think you can about only it. do so much with our designs. Yeah, I mean, it's not like these look like. They could be actual Pokemon that exist somewhere in someone's horrific nightmares. That's possible. Um, cool. Thanks for watching. Thumbs. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to be in front. We'll see. We'll see.